What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up the U-Bar 27 ATV UTV soundbar speaker system. As you can see, it comes with the soundbar itself, a mounting kit so you can mount the soundbar onto your boat, ATV, UTV, etc., a wire harness so we can power our speaker, and a wireless remote to control the LEDs for the speaker. Now to mount your speaker system onto a crossbar or a wakeboard tower, you're gonna start by taking two of these clamp feet here and two hex nuts. You're gonna take each nut and line it up to the opening here on each foot. And then you're gonna slide each clamp foot into the groove here on top of the speaker on each side. And be sure that the side with the nut is facing down. So next we're gonna take the two M5 12 millimeter screws and two split lock washers here and run these washers right through the screws. We can then place these aside for right now so we can grab two of these clamp bases here. Line up each of the clamp bases onto the clamp feet that we already attached to the soundbar. Then we're gonna take the M5 screw with the washer that we fed through and line them up to the holes on the bottom of the clamp base. After that, you're gonna take a five millimeter Allen key to tighten the five millimeter screw to secure the clamp onto the soundbar. You can also take off the top part of the clamp here so you can run the screws and tighten it with your Allen key. Now, the more you tighten the screws onto the bar, the more secure they stay on. Now, before you fully tighten these screws, you can actually leave them a bit looser so you can slide the clamp along the bar just like this. This way you can choose how you have the speaker balance onto your bar, and then you can tighten the screws all the way to lock it in place. We can also use these rubber pads here so that the speaker fits perfectly onto our bar. These rubber pads also come in different sizes, so we can use whichever we need so that the speaker fits perfectly onto the bar. You can also use the rubber pads for the top piece for extra security. So after we've done that, we can then line the speaker up to a spot on our bar where we want to have it mounted. We're then going to take the top parts of the clamps that we took off before and line them back up to each clamp. Then we're going to take our M5 50 millimeter screws and run them through each hole on both clamps. And then we'll use our five millimeter Allen key to tighten each screw. And now we've got our speaker all mounted to our crossbar and ready to go. Now you can also mount this speaker onto a flat surface for your boat. To do that, you're gonna first find a surface in your cockpit, cabin, or gunwale. And because this type of installation requires you to drill holes, just make sure there's no electrical or gas line behind these surfaces. So once you know where you wanna mount your speaker, you're then gonna make two marks so you know where to mount your clamps. Just be sure that they're gonna be level and that the distance between the two doesn't exceed 26 inches. Then you're gonna use a drill to make holes where you've made your marks. Next, you're gonna take two 25 millimeter hex bolts and run them into the opening on the bottom of each clamp foot. Once you run these through your clamp foot, you're then gonna slide each clamp foot to each side of your speaker. And again, you should be able to slide these along your speaker so that this way the bolts can line up to the holes that you made earlier. So after that, you're gonna line the bolts up to the holes that you made earlier and run them through. You're also gonna take a washer and hex nut and run them through each bolt. And then you're gonna tighten the bolt until it's nice and snug onto either side of the surface. Now we also have this power harness here so we can connect the speaker to the battery of our vehicle. So to do that you're just going to take this end of your power harness here and then we're going to line it up to the plug here on the speaker itself now on the other end of the harness we have these three wires here so we have the red 12 volt wire that's going to go into the positive terminal of our vehicle's battery the black ground wire that can go into the negative terminal of our battery or to the metal chassis of our vehicle and then we have the remote in wire that can run to the acc wire of our head unit or to the ignition of our vehicle we also have all these other wires here towards our speaker. So we have the 35 millimeter aux input so we can connect an MP3 player. We also have the left and right pre output so we can connect our speaker to external amplifiers or powered speakers to expand our setup. And then we have the remote output that we can connect to an external amplifier so that as soon as the speaker powers on, the external amplifier will power on as well. So now that we've got the speaker all powered up, let's take a look at the controls on the front. So we've got the buttons for music play back, including the pause or play button. We've also got the previous and next button, which also act as our volume control. So if we want to lower the volume, we're actually going to hold down the previous button. And if we want to increase the volume, we're going to hold down the next button. We can actually use this Rockville button here to turn on or turn off our speaker. So if you want to turn off the speaker, you can just press it once. 
And if you want to turn it back on, you're just going to press it again. Next to that, we have the LED button so we can turn on or turn off the LEDs for the speaker. We have the EQ button, which we can use to go through different preset EQs for our speaker to change the overall sound. And then we have this Bluetooth button here so we can connect our smartphone or tablet to the speaker. So when this button is flashing blue, you'll know that the speaker is searching for a device to connect to. And then we can actually switch the speaker to aux mode by pressing this button once. And when it's lit up red, you'll know that the speaker is set to aux mode. So to show you how to connect your smartphone or tablet through Bluetooth, I'm gonna press the Bluetooth button again on the speaker so that it's flashing blue. I'm then gonna go into the Bluetooth settings of my smartphone or tablet, search for the device that reads UBAR27, click on it to pair, and then you'll hear that sound letting you know your device is connected, and you can also tell because now the Bluetooth button is lit blue. So now let's go ahead and hear how the speaker sounds. So now you just saw the LEDs going while we were playing some music, which is really cool, but we can also use the wireless remote to change the LEDs if we want to. So if we look on top, we have the power button to turn the LED off or back on. We also have the on and off button for the sound mode where the LEDs will interact with the song that's playing in Bluetooth mode. We also have these mode buttons here so we can change what mode the LED is on. The speed button to control the speed of each mode. We also have these color buttons here to change or set the light to a solid LED. The brightness buttons to adjust the overall brightness of the LEDs. And then we have the demo button in the middle to set the LEDs to an automatic light show. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your UBAR27 ATV UTV soundbar speaker system. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.